teach people about nature, showing people that there's food out there in their doorsteps and in the All right guys, did a lot of rearranging in here. And it looks really good. So I got more some of the house planty stuff back there. Got all the ginseng. Looking amazing, even my mess up back here. It's almost 60 in here. Turn it like that so it'll come get good sun. Then I got the citrus forest here. The couple house plants behind there as well. Look at my lemon, and it's about the flower. You can see that. Um, I think it's only got one flower set. Oh, it's got one on the end down there. Um, and then the lime is flowering, but I don't understand the lime flowers. They're really, really small. I don't know if they're like aborted flowers or what's going on with that. But anyway, it's going to smell amazing in here. I got all the cabbage, fig cuttings. Anyway, here's the figs. Um, you know, it's interesting. I covered these with a fish tank for humidity, and I did not cover these. And look who's awake first. Um, these are still alive for sure because of the green and everything, but they definitely didn't wake up first. It's interesting. Um, currants, elderberries, the olive tree, looking good. It is my eastern prickly pear cactus, the indoor version. Looking pretty good. Love those new pads on them. Bay leaf. Some sort of succulents, I'm not sure what those are, the chick or whatever they're called. And look at the rosemary and the strawberry all together. Even got some stone crop, growing it out, transplant down on the property, get some native succulents up in here. Woo! So yeah, looking good, looking at flowered last year. Hopefully it flowers again. Down here at the native plant relocation zone, and just look at how beautiful black cohosh is as it comes out of the ground I mean it is elegant it's like a dancing lady so beautiful may apple popping up all the beautiful ramps some little yellowing I don't know if that is good or not we'll see wild ginger coming up Things doing good over here.